In your web application, you can use a strategy called prefetching, which effectively fetches data in the background to make your application feel much more snappy and much more performant when a user is actually interacting with your application. So for example, when you land on a certain page, you might prefetch a different page that is linked from that page. So when they click that link, that page has already been fetched and it makes your application feel very performant. And today we're going to look at doing that within the Next.js application, although you could do that in really any web applications. This prefetching strategy is kind of a concept that you can use in a lot of different places, but we're going to cover it here in this demo application implemented in Next.js. But first, two things. I want to cover the Next.js docs here, just a little bit of how that's implemented in Next.js. And then also, I need to apologize. My allergies are kicking my butt right now. And if I sound very nasally, or there's a little bit of a sniffle here and there, I apologize, but I'm really getting my butt kicked by my allergies right now. But let's cover the docs here. So prefetching, it is a way to preload a route in the background before the user visits it. So kind of what I explained earlier. And there are two ways routes are prefetched in Next.js. A, you can use the link component importing this from Next Link, in which routes are automatically prefetched as they become visible in the user's viewport. Prefetching happens when the page first loads or when it comes into view through scrolling. So if you use the link component from Next.js, which you often should be using to add links to your page, Next.js by default is going to prefetch that route that you're linking to when that page first load that that contains that link or when it comes into view through scrolling. So Next.js kind of already automatically prefetches using the link component. So in our example today, we're not really going to cover this one because Next.js kind of already does it for you. I just want to make sure that you knew that that's already implemented out of the black box with the next link. And I would generally recommend using next link for your links whenever possible. But you might also have cases to where maybe client side, you're going to be navigating through like the router.push method. And when doing this, it's not automatically going to prefetch your routes. However, when you do do that client side navigation, you can use router.prefetch to programmatically prefetch the route. And that's what we're going to kind of look at here today. Now, if you want to learn a little bit more about like the default behaviors and kind of more nuances of how that works, I definitely have videos on the link component and you can definitely read the docs here. I'll make sure to link this in the description below. But to get to the example here, we're going to open the network tab and then I'm also going to show you the code here. So what we have here is a client component. I import use router for next navigation. And then I have this handle prefetch function that calls router.prefetch. And then I pass in a relative path that I want to prefetch. And if we go look at this blog page, basically all it does is renders a title and a paragraph saying like blog page. And then it also simulates a two second delay. So this would be like simulating if you fetched a whole list of blogs and maybe the server was running a little slow and it took a couple of seconds. This will just allow us to see the benefit of prefetching a little bit more. And then if we come back to my homepage here, that's a client component. I have two different buttons. One button is going to on mouse enter. So when the user starts to just put their mouse over this button, it's going to call this handle prefetch function which is going to prefetch the blog page. And then when they click on it, it's going to call router.push to push them to the forward slash blog page. But then I have another button here to kind of show the difference between the two. It doesn't handle the on mouse enter event here and it doesn't do any prefetching. It just navigates straight to the blog page. So we're going to show a non prefetched button to navigate to the blog page and then a prefetched version. And just to make sure that we're totally clear here. In this case, I'm showing this for demonstration purposes to show you how prefetching works and how you can do that with the use router hook here in Next.js. But just know if you're just linking to a different page, use the link from next link and it will automatically handle prefetching for you. 
but I just wanted to show in those cases where you want to do some client side navigation with router.push, how can you also prefetch in those cases? So if we come back to my browser here, what you're gonna see here in the network tab is as soon as I hover over my go to blog prefetch button, it's gonna make a network request to prefetch my blog page. But if I just navigate through this go to blog button, it should take a two second delay. Now, one thing to be very aware of here, when it comes to prefetching in Next.js, it only is going to do this in a production build. It's not gonna do it when you just run npm run dev and you run your development server. I have already run a build and now I have served this build to localhost. So I ran npm run build and then npm run start. So I'm using my production build here. That's where you're gonna see prefetching. If you try to spin this up and you don't build first and you just run npm run dev, you're not gonna see the prefetching behavior. So just wanna make sure you're aware of that to save you some time if you're gonna kinda of try this out in your local application as well. But on this production build here, we should be able to see this prefetching behavior. So let's first just try to go to this blog page without prefetching just to see the delay that it takes. So I'm gonna click on this. You can see it fetches my blog page. And then after about two seconds here, we see the blog page. So if I come back, I'm gonna refresh just to prevent like any caching or anything. I'm gonna clear this. We're gonna go to it again. You see it takes about two seconds and then we arrive to that page. Now, if I refresh and clear the console again, if I just hover over, go to blog, you see that it makes that request right away. And then if I click on it, it should be pretty much instant here. And it is. So you can already see here, when doing this approach, it can really improve the perception of performance in your application because we already prefetched this route, so then it just becomes instant. And from a user's perspective, this feels much better. Now, of course, this is just an example for demonstration purposes. If the user was really quick about it and they hover over this and basically click right away, you still have a little bit of a delay there, but you might have a case in your application to where this sort of behavior maybe makes a lot of sense. And you go and you decide to prefetch on mouse over, and maybe this works really well in your application, but just conceptually speaking, just understand the concept that prefetching can help improve the performance of your application a lot. And you can kind of programmatically do it when the user takes different actions. It, of course, doesn't have to just be hovering over a button like what I'm showing here. There might be cases where this actually doesn't make a lot of sense because maybe you always expect the user to just come and click here automatically and it doesn't kind of let your prefetch request finish before they click so it really doesn't improve the performance that much but i'm sure there are cases and scenarios that you'll run into where maybe you're like man this just my app feels so slow when navigating this page Maybe there is a user event where you can programmatically prefetch to really improve that experience quite a bit. So in summary here, prefetching is a way to preload a route in the background before the user visits it. In Next.js, if you use the link component from Next Link, routes are automatically prefetched as they become visible in the user's viewport. But there might be cases to where you want to navigate client side and use like router.push. And in those scenarios, you can still use prefetching using router.prefetch and then you just pass in the URL path that you want to prefetch and you can programmatically kind of improve the performance of your application. And we saw this here where the user on the on mouse enter event, we called this handle prefetch function. We called the router.prefetch after getting the router instance from the use router hook from next navigation. We call the router.prefetch with the path that we wanted to prefetch. And then in our application here, we saw that when we hover over this, it makes a request to prefetch the blog page. And now when we click it, it feels instant compared to if we just click on our button that doesn't do any prefetching here and we try to navigate to it, there's a two second delay because of the code that we have in place. And just keep in mind, prefetching is only going to work in your built applications. 
If you just try to do NPM run dev and you're just running locally without a built application, you're not going to see this prefetching behavior. So thanks for tuning into this. I hope you learned something. I hope it helped and I'll see you in that next one.